past week, PewDiePie decided to try something a little different and went ahead and created a tier list rating YouTuber mansion. He played some footage from another channel in the genre, but unfortunately, he didn't come across any of our videos here at Famous Entertainment. Not to be salty, but we invented the no address idea. Just wanted to point that out. Okay, I'm being a little salty. This video posted by PewDiePie had us at the office thinking about trying to do a house tour on the king of YouTube himself, Mr. Big Pee Pee Club, CEO of Flora Gang, the one and only PewDiePie and his beloved wife, Marsha. But it's a task easier said than done. This couple is extremely private and for good reason. In 2019, their house in Japan was burglarized and according to Marsha, 90% of my valuables from my jewelry to luxury goods and special items I've been collecting over the years, it's all gone. Just don't come to my house, please. Are we done? Are we done? That was it. Also, back in 2016, PewDiePie posted a video titled Don't Come to My House, which was watched by 6.6 .6 million people. The top comment reads, at the end of the video, some fan knocked on the door 100%. All jokes aside, the dude was pretty upset. In a strange coincidence, my fiance Michael McCrudden got some props from PewDiePie for locating his old residence in his The Rich Life video. Michael McCrudden did another video on me. Thank God. That's all in the past, and in the years since, PewDiePie went from renting a few properties in Italy and Brighton before moving into a mega mansion all of his own, and we are going to talk about a few of the other places he's lived in in the past and his property in Japan. As always, we won't be revealing any addresses. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. This is a very special house tour video here for you on Famous Entertainment. My name, of course, is Kara the Vampire Slayer. We drop new videos daily and would love to do some on other YouTubers like Critical or how about XQC. The team here warns me that I might get roasted for doing these, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Now let's get into this video. Super fans of PewDiePie would know the exact location of where he was born and raised back in Gothenburg, Sweden. He did a Google Earth tour of his hometown and showed a few locations in which he was raised. Some fans have gone so far as to make Minecraft versions of his childhood home and because of the stairs next to his old house, fans seem to like to go there and do the Joker dance or at least it's become a meme online. In this same video, he also showed off an apartment building he lived in where he told a story about getting sick off the balcony and another house he lived in during his earlier years. Following university University at Chalmers University of Technology in his hometown, he dropped out and sold hot dogs on the street for a short period of time before falling in love with another YouTuber and making the move to Italy, and then they moved back to Sweden. This is where they lived together while he invested his time into his YouTube career. As we all know, PewDiePie's YouTube career skyrocketed with his scary video game reactions, and when the going got good, PewDiePie was able to ride this wave of success to the very top of the YouTube ecosystem to where he remains to this day. Him and Marcia eventually eventually decided to make a move, but it wouldn't be Italy or Sweden where they would call home. Instead, they chose to move to Brighton, England, located 47 miles south of London. It's a seaside resort town, and over on Instagram, PewDiePie explained why they chose this location with a post that reads, I get the question a lot, why do I live in Brighton? And to be honest, I never have a good answer. Me and Marta moved here because we were too lazy to learn Swedish or Italian. We just wanted to live in the UK, but not in London. Those are common, easy answers. But the truth is, it's such a great city, and it has so much to offer. Don't get me wrong, I still love Sweden, but for now, I'm proud and happy to be a Brightonian. We know from him replying in Michael's The Rich Life video where he lived in the year 2015, there were other homes which people got to see bits and pieces of in his vlogs, like his video from 2018 titled My New House and My New Pool. And there was also the studio or office space he rented for a few years back when he had a Danny DeVito cardboard cutout on his set. Back then, PewDiePie was renting while bulking up his bank account. He eventually made the move into a house which isn't public information. Plenty of YouTubers have tried to figure it out, including Dream, but no one knows for sure. There are a number of other YouTubers who call Brighton home, including Belle Delphine, Jacksepticeye, and more. Let us know if you want to make videos on them in the future. Cruising over some real estate websites, there are plenty of mansions, both modern or traditional, in the price range of 2 million British pounds. Although we can only guess what kind of property Pewds and Marzi decided to call home, we can tell you about something he's built inside their house. PewDiePie posted this to Instagram with a caption that reads, 
I built the MF closet, gamers. Sometimes you just got a real life Minecraft, you know? We have this awkward space in front of our bed that goes up from the floor. It kind of blocks away space and ends up piling up mess. So decided to extend the closet from the wall out over and also build the TV into it. Marzi had the great idea to put a bookshelf on the end. On the back side of it, there's sliding doors with shelves for storage inside. Shout out to my neighbor for letting me borrow his garage and tools and Mertz for helping me paint it. And also my dad for giving advice. Never built anything this big in wood before, but was really fun and turned out not too shabby. Great to see a man as rich as him still willing to get his hands dirty. Before we get to his property in Japan, let's talk about the location of his wedding. The couple got married at Kew Gardens, which are Royal Botanical Gardens. The venue is a popular choice for wedding parties as it boasts some wonderful scenery and over 10,000 species of plant life that makes for an ideal location for some truly unique photos. Judging by the pictures the couple have shared on social media, they decided on the iconic wedding package, which saw them have access to the aforementioned temperate house. For this package, weekday prices start at £17,500 and can climb up to £19,500 on weekends, plus taxes and more. Finally, we're gonna talk about his property in Japan, which was something PewDiePie had been planning to do for some time in a video he posted in 2019 titled Googling Myself My Net Worth. When it comes to information about his house in Japan, there really isn't much info out there. On September 3rd, the 29 year old randomly announced in a video that he and his wife Marja Kelberg had purchased a home in Japan. He commented, Remember a while back, the last time I was Japan, I was like, oh, I would really like to live here. Well, we bought a house here. Yay. PewDiePie described it as a dream come true, but did not reveal any other details, such as where in Japan it was located or how much it had cost. Seeing as this place was robbed, I doubt PewDiePie or Marzi will be revealing the address anytime soon. Anyways, we're gonna wrap up this video here. Be sure to let us know who you wanna see next, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!